death is coming. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on Conan Exiles Age of War Let's Play series. This is episode 21. So, as I mentioned pre uh, in the previous video, today I'm going to upgrade the Tomb of Kurak as much as I can. Okay, so before that, I want to show you guys something. I found a shield right. So, I'll put a video on the screen showing you how I find her, found her. Basically, I was just about just south of here at the War Towers, trying to get some more religious resources. And just in the middle of the altar, there she was. So, I had to start recording because <laughs> I couldn't pass this. So, basically, we have all three shield, uh, all three named armorers: the shield right, the scout right, and the temper right. Also, as you saw in the previous videos, I have the best blacksmith, the bladesmith, and the temper smith. Okay, so that being said, I did a lot of, I did a lot, I did a bit of uh, decoration around here, put some hops in some planters, these are only decorative. I also built some planters, working planters in the kitchen area and some, um, what are they called, the compost heaps. Let's, let's get to our sorcery. So I want to make a, a little recap before we, we improved further the Tom of Kurak. So in episode 11 I went to the Shellback Hello middle of E5, where I learned the basics of sorcery. I got a Tomb of Kurak, the Arcane Staff, two basic spells, Ice Bridge and Reveal Corruption, and the recipes for the Taumaturgy Bench, and the three pouches that can be crafted in the Alchemist Bench. In that video I also showed you the, the two spells, so check that out. And I also upgraded the, the Tomb to level 3. So level 1 of the Tomb of Kurak needed the Tomb, one Sorcerer's Spell Page, one Stone and one Putrid Meat and taught us how to make the sacrificial stone, which takes 600 stone, 100 iron bars and one torch to build. The recipe for blood rite that needs to make the blood in the flask and soul drain. All three recipes are made inside the sacrificial stone and you need an unconscious NPC to be put on the stone. I showed you this in the previous episode, episode 20. Also taught us the spells embedded wisp and imbued wisp. Basically one is a green light that can be cast on the surface and the other one is a green light that, that follows the player slash caster. Now, level 2 of the tome requires the tome, one sorcerer spell page, one feral flesh and five feathers and only gave us one spell and that is slowfall, which I showed you in episode 11. Basically if you cast this, you can fall at a reduced speed from any height for a limited time, 60 seconds, and you will not take damage. If I remember correctly, spells don't work in dungeons, please someone correct me in the comments if I am wrong. And the level 3 of the tome requires the tome, one sorcerer spell page, one savory flesh and 10 glowing goop. It taught us to make the circle of power and two recipes, abyssal horse and abyssal rhino, both craftable, craftable inside the circle. And I didn't show you this in episode 11 because I didn't have the materials. But let's just build a... Circle of power. Just put it in the middle. It takes a 3x3 three three foundation, I, I believe. Something like that. And if we look inside the, the circle, you see the recipe for abyssal mount an abyssal rhino. So both have a 10 minutes timer, but if in that 10 minutes timer you kill an NPC, it will uh, refresh by an amount or some some seconds for each HP. If I don't, if I remember correctly. So as you can see, the the abyssal horse requires one sacrificial blood, 10 demon blood, and 10 bone, and the abyssal mount rhino. It's a sacrificial blood in the flask, 10 demon blood, but 5 horns. Let me just get the materials to, 
to show you guys. Okay, the bones. I'm getting distracted. Okay, abyssal mount. I want to do this. I will not do the rhino. I believe this one is better. Also better looking. So, it's pretty cool looking, in my opinion. You can ride it. As you can see, it also levels up, but it it doesn't have uh, percentages for for the attributes. So if I take a look inside, it has zero percent. So even if he levels up, it doesn't get better HP or other stats. The only thing it will give, it will uh, get, is at level 10, 15, and 20, it will get one perk. So Theoretically, can get better in health. Anyway, so just remember to to kill some creatures, humans, or something like that before he expires, because he will go feral and attack everything around you. Hopefully, but at 3,600 health, I think my trolls will get rid of him pretty quick. So I show you this that. Now let's let's go to the Taumaturgy bench and start up, start upgrading our tome. So for level five, we need the tome, one sorcerer's page, spell page, human flesh, and volatile gland. So I don't have the human flesh here. Basically, human flesh you can get from any human. You just have to to harvest it. With, um, with a tool but in my experience the best tool for this is the religious tool I don't know about the other religions but Mitran Ang, the Ang that I have here I saw that it gives a lot of human flesh ok, I believe I had some human flesh in this yes, here it is let's take two Three minutes. Can I make it in three minutes there? Run! Okay, so let's upgrade the tomb to level four. So, what it did, it give, gave us a spell, let me take the bullet pouches, it's called wall of fire, but it's more like a circle of fire, let me cast it here, in my opinion it's kind of useless, I never use it, it also doesn't, doesn't uh, do damage what is this slow fall summon frozen pitch summon mountain bike man magma so it basically I think it does a bit of damage when you cast it basically I don't know because you also can can climb it I don't know what it blocks maybe if they made it so the lava did as much damage as the lava in the volcano it would be worth it but as it stands I don't know for me it's useless I don't know if you if you found a useful useful use as to say like that just let me know in the comments I didn't okay so we need volatile gland I, I wanted to also mention that volatile glands you can get from Basically, imps, red imps, the exploding ones along the Nub River, more in the half to west zone of the, let's just say south of the Nub River, there are a lot of red imps, also in the caves, there are some imp caves around Nub River. 
especially Hanuman's Grotto. I believe it's here in H3, if I'm not mistaken. But I think I'll I'll show you that when we get another another spell. Anyway, and the the next one is around here in J H in G H six. There are lizards. There are uh, salamander lizards that uh, if you harvest them with a tool they can drop volatile glands. In my opinion the imps are much better for this although they are pretty rare the the exploding ones and also volatile glands you can get from the from the triskal dragons in the unnamed city I believe everyone drops them question mark Okay, so let's see level 5 of the tome. So we need Tome of Kurak, Sorcerer Spell Page, 5 Blood and 20 Brimstone. So you saw me harvest Brimstone. I think the closest to us for Brimstone is the Shatter Springs here. We, we didn't visit in the in this playthrough, but it's the closest to us. Also Sinner's Refuge. Executioner's Dungeon, Entrance, Cave, um, Galaman's Tomb, and there are some more places that have, in the jungle, in the water, there are these uh, fuming vents, and around them there are some brimstones. And blood you can get from putting human flesh in the fluid press, animal heads, it will give you that, skulls I believe. So this this level five is not that uh, expensive. Let's just craft it. It gave us creeping darkness. So I believe this one needs. Oh, I forgot to to do something. So every spell still here. Do I have to? They should cancel it. Part of them. Leave the forces of life and death. You know. There are forces of nature. Okay, so we need to escalate for the creeping darkness. Summon molten magma from the planet's core. So I don't have the cancer spell. I wonder how much it uh, stays here. What I wanted to do is move this guy, the the entertainer. Where should I move him? Let's move him a bit, a bit to the back of the cave just so he doesn't have influence on us because he will clear, clear corruption and what I want to do do I have the materials necessary for this? we needed a torch we have a torch on us let me get one uh, one wood Basically, I'll go uh, get corrupted and I'll see you back here. Okay, so I just wanted to, to show you exactly how you can get corrupted whenever you want without uh, spending a lot of time inside corruption or something like that. You just knock a troll. And build. Let me get the materials. Build the sacrificial stone. Let me see if it lets me put the sacrificial stone here. Overlapping. Overlapping. So it does let me put it put here.
it was letting me before. Uh, doesn't matter, let's just put it here. And put the trowel and make uh, also make sure you have glass flasks. Make the drain soul. Let me just check something. So let me get the resources. As you see, like I said before, gives a, give us nine human flare just with the ankh. Anyway, let's get corrupted. I believe I can play this and just look up, look at me, not not show the, the human. We will test this, we will see if it works. And we are 50% corrupted, so just like that. Let me just eat and drink something. And everything is gone? Nah, it's not gone. Get tough, man. Anyway, let me just get the, the soul essence and leave this here. Just if we, we need to to get more corrupted. Actually, we are 100% corrupted because 50% is, is the max you can get. Without teleporting, I'll show you, you can get more. Yeah, I don't believe you can die. I forgot if you can die or not. Anyway, let me get home and uh, I'll see you there. Okay, we are home. We don't have, of course we don't have. Only one cloth pouch. Let's see. So for this you will need the cloth pouch. So if we bring up and it should be life, death and undead, if I'm not mistaken. No, this is imbue. Raw forces of nature. Ooh. Yeah, because that had escalate. So if we escalate, so you cannot do this if you're not 20% corrupted. And he is channel pure darkness and terror to surround you, your being. So if you cast this, you basically will make darkness. As you see, the trolls are uh, are scared. And there should be spider webs. I believe it's the the other players will will have total darkness. Torches, as I read in the wiki, torches just to cancel the darkness, as you see here. But there also will be um, spider webs on the on the ground, and if a player walks into the darkness, he will get uh, slowed down by the by the spider webs. Again, I don't see the point in this because if you see a player and he sees you, before you cast the un, until you cast the this creeping darkness, he he will kill you. So I don't I don't know. Also, last one minute see it has a 80 meter diameter or radius something like that is pretty big and it will also follow you so <clears throat> maybe if you have some uh, a guild with some other players and they can can um, what's it called they can protect you because this it's fine I guess it can help I don't know if they can get into the darkness and be slowed down it's questionable anyway so that was level 5 now let's see level 6 so it needs one tome of kurak sorcerer spell page 10 blood and 15 alchemical base so you saw alchemical base you can make basically you should put gold and silver bars inside the grinder or coins and also with with uh, one alchemical base, it will need one um, ichor, one uh, gold dust, and one silver dust to make one alchemical base. Or you can find bearers, uh, tier three bearers, get their packs, and inside you will get alchemical base around between 
250 and 750 I believe I don't think I saw a thousand but it's pretty 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 good okay so let's craft this and see what we get so this one mask cool and detect resources I believe for this one we need another cloth pouch let's see wrong tool so I believe this one is zero forces of nature still escalate yes so we have muscle which it means that on a radius around you all resources will be harvested granted it will give you a little less than than if you harvest it with a tool off the top of my head i don't know how what the percentage of this but i want to show to show you this also i want to show you a pretty good cave so i'll cut here and i'll meet you guys when i get there okay everyone so here we are in h3 so this cave is called called hanuman's grotto and here you should find also the exploding imps maybe but what why we are here is i want to show you a cool way to harvest the materials with sorcery uh, i guess there aren't any exploding imps but if there were just know that here they they should saw they should um, they should spawn also a boss imp if by any chance you need to to do the battle pass daily quest or something like that defeat a imp boss so let me get in this room get my stuff and I will not show the, the detect resources because it's intuitive, it will show you resources in the vicinity. What I want to do is cast muscle inside here. So let's let's cast muscle. Now it will it will uh, to make your computer work a bit rough, but let's see. We got 1,700 crystal from this, which is not bad, in my opinion. So this is a good way to to harvest stuff. It also works with star metal. Of course, if you manually harvest this, you will get much more but if you don't have time to stay also in in this cave in uh, hanuman's grotto there are three three this uh, so it was that room with crystal this room in another room where the boss is also there should be glowing goop here yes there is glowing goop so another resource you need for the sorcery I think we can manage if we even if we are uh, even if we are corrupted I think we can manage to, to defeat this guy
pretty easy. For our for our level is pretty easy. Ooh, we third heart. Actually this one was good for something. Was it for this cave? Let's see. So basically what what is in here is a statue to Hanuman. Practically is a what it called a shrine to Hanuman. And if you bring hero hearts, withered hearts, all sorts of hearts, hero um, champion, champion hearts, like that, heart of a hero, sorry, you can come here, interact with the chest. Oh, I actually got a gorilla pet, and you can get all sorts of pets from here, and also some some other stuff. So in this room, if if you see, let's cast one more. There is a lot of crystal here, not that one. Let me just ca cast another monster in here, just out of curiosity to see how much crystal it gives us. In my opinion, if you want to do this, just pack in... Uh... Oh my god. Just pack in, uh, in another uh, in encumbrance. One, two, three, four, four thousand crystal. <laughs> yes. How much crystal do you want? All of it. I will not take all of it because it's too much. But just to show you, anyway, I'll see you guys back home. Okay, we are back home. So what I want to do, because I'm entering the kitchen area and also I'm walking around here and I have some more dancers around the base. I just want to, to be corrupted every time. So I'll just put one point in, in strength, in corruption. So to do this, you will need to have the souls, what's it called? The soul essences, one soul essence for every point you corrupt. I just put one in, in this because if I go to this guy oh, interesting I still uh, I'm still corrupted I'm still losing corruption so why doesn't it work do I have to have a point in corruption well let me just Use the souls to okay, no more. Let me see. Yeah, still losing corruption. Interesting. I wonder if I have to to invest at least twenty points. I don't know. Anyway, so now we are at level 7 Tom. So level 7 requires the Tom, Sorcerer Spell Page, 15 blood and one with that skull which we got when we did the Black Keep. So let's just craft it. And this teaches us to summon our corpse. I wonder if if I lose corruption if I die. Actually I have a... So this is the one. You have to be at the circle of power to summon your... So you need 50 brimstone and one glass flask. So we need to do that. Well, let me just show you. At least we don't need to be corrupted to, to do this. So 50 brimstone in one glass flask. So, okay, so if I put one point or 20 as we have, uh, it will go down to 20% corruption and it cannot go down any further. That's good to know. I'm still learning sorcery because I uh, didn't uh, I didn't dabble in, in it too much when I played on servers or something like that. 
it's still something new to me. So, let's do this. Let's do it, it here. So if I go to, if I press escape, bring up the the main UI, main, and I choose remove bracelet. This will kill me. And now I'll say I want to resurrect my base, uh, my bed. We are here. Okay, so the corruption remains. That's nice. And as you see, my corpse is here. And if I go to the circle, and I press summon corpse, it will do this incantation. And it's supposed to, to bring my corpse here. Yes. And I just press the loot all button and it will put back in my inventory as it, would, as it was. Can I use my ritual? Haha, <laughs> I can. Okay. So now, let's see the next level of spells. Uh, by the way, I want to mention this before we get to the next one. There, there is an issue. So if you are in the jungle, near the edge of the jungle, let's say in the far right, and you are in Sepemeru, in the far east of Sepemeru, let's say A7, and you, in your base with the circle of power is in, let's say, O7 you will not be able to get your corpse. It will say it, your corpse is too, is too far away. So make sure you are about, let's say, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. About 12 squares apart, maximum. Okay, let's, let's continue with our upgrades. So this is level 8. I'm forgetting here. Yes, level 8. Need the tome, sorcerer spell page. So the tome and the sorcerer spell page, you always need. Twenty blood, twenty wither skulls. Again, wither skulls we got in the black keep dungeon episode. Pretty easy, not that complicated. And let's see what we get. Call of the dead and raise dead. Okay. So if I remember correctly, Call of the Dead is a mist with undead, undead, let's see, I hope I don't, but actually I have, I have everything to, to cast, so forces of life, undead, imbue soul, escalate, escalate, okay, so we need a uh, leather pouch. Yes, we need a leather pouch. So it calls the fog. Let's see if. Yeah, these guys get attacked. So undead, raised from the ground, and will attack everything. I hope. <laughs> okay, so so my, this undead will not attack my uh, my trolls because they are mine. But my trolls will attack them for some reason. Anyway, if you are in a in a in a, another player's base or something like that, they will do pretty significant damage. This is a very good and cool spell to have. <laughs> this is this is epic <laughs> and also funny. It would be awful if, if this undead will would uh, attack my trolls and my pets because I think at least for not the bears but for Pinky and the brain here, the two lizards, I think they will be dead. And probably these two because they are pretty low health. Why am I losing corruption? No, 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 don't lose corruption. So I think, I believe this one also takes one minute, 
if I'm not mistaking. I hope it goes away. Can I cancel it? No, I cannot cancel it. Anyway, let's leave it like that. It will go away at some point. And now it also taught us the shallow grave. So we need 50 compost and 300 stone. I believe I have some stone. Yes, I have some stone. So 300 stone. And also 50 compost. This fog is not going away. Let's just make one shallow grave. Can we put it here? Yeah, let's just put it here. I put it backwards. Anyway. Let me arrange these trolls again. Actually, have them. Let's take a troll. If I remember, let's take one Sumerian Berserker. And use it in the grave. So you need a already tamed troll. You put it in the shallow grave. And you just basically raise the dead. So it will... Uh, yes, it's backwards. Let me change this. So it's like this, right? Why? Okay. Again, let's try again. This has a very cool animation. It's... You can see the, the passion put in, in this little animation. Just basically an undead will get out of the grave. And it's your pet. It's max level, max level 20. 20. It has 9000 and almost 300 health. I don't particularly know the damage of this guy but basically what you want to do because it's max level doesn't matter you want to feed it something good like demon blood I believe human flesh or pitted meat something like that will give him plus 20 15 or 20 percent the damage or something like that and you also can take three of these with you and they will all benefit from the authority and also the well-trained perk, I believe. I hope I, I don't... Uh, I don't spit bullshit here. But they are... Decent, I think. I don't know if you can actually feed them elixirs of rebirth. But we will see. Okay, so this, this one is cool. Also, if you have the war party, you can take four of these with you. So you can actually play as an uh, summoner. Now, let's see the next one. Level 9, right? So again, Tom, Sorcerer Spell Page, 10 Demon Blood and 10 Grey Lotus Powder. <coughs> so this is where it gets tricky. We got the Lotus Seeds from inside the sinkhole when we... I forgot which episode it was. We basically try to find uh, the blood crystal golems and rock noses in that uh, video. And we got down there and we searched also for the for some grey lotus seeds. And I got like three or four or something like that. And I multiplied them. And from the flowers 
I put in the grinder and you, and you make grey lotus powder. So we had that. We also have some seeds remaining, but we need pot and compost, and which we don't have anymore. Okay, let's make the upgrade. So this one taught us mirror mark in this ability self. And what was that? Conceal corruption. Okay, so conceal corruption is pretty straightforward. Basically, let me get this to the to the light. If I take off my my headpiece and my chest piece, you see I'm corrupted. I'm pretty not good to look at. But if we use Conceal Corruption, this one, oh my god, conceal the physical effects of corruption. So if we cast this, we get back to normal, but our corruption is still here. So it's basically a good way to trick someone. Possible, I don't know. I, I believe the devs thought the PvP is cooler than it is, which is not. But anyway, so what was the other ones? Let me just take a look. Mirror mark. So mirror mark basically makes a double of yourself, an illusion, which is still under illusion. I think it's Escalade, yes, Escalade. So is this one. Splintered its soul. And it makes, where the point is, it makes a double... And it also has a high aggro state. So basically you can, you can pretty much solo everything in the game if you go with, with uh, sorcery. Because this one will will aggro everything uh, that is on you, and also and you can go behind them and just use the daggers uh, and kill them. Because also you get pretty, very, very powerful if you invest if you corrupt the points. So, okay, so that one is the the mirror mark, and now if we go, we have another one. Which is invisibility. In basically, you are invisible. You can go. I don't know if if indef indef indefinable. I don't think it's indefinite. Because if you see on the left side, under my uh, under the shelter sign, it says invisible with uh, hourglass so i believe it has a timer but you basically can can run can walk through camps without being detected the only thing you can you you get detected if you, is you basically the the only thing that cancels the invisibility is if you attack something put away your stuff and if someone actually hits you, I believe. Okay, so that was that. That was level 9, right? Now, level 10. To need the same tome, spell page. Now, demon blood, which is not that hard to get. And 5 soul essences. So, I showed you just in this video how to make soul essences make the sacrificial stone take a trial on it and just use the recipe let's craft it so this is the the level i wanted to at least get because it as you saw on the screen we learned to make elixirs of rebirth so what are the elixirs of rebirth? Oh, okay, so this one has uh, a life on it. 
Yeah, we can leave him there. We're gonna purge triggers because we are pretty close. He can draw everyone there. We just put our clothes back. So, elixir of rebirth. We need the water fill orb, which, which we have. Two alchemical base, which we have. And seven demon blood, which we have. But, of course, like a noob, I forgot to take the the souls. They're in the Taumaturgy bench. No. Oh yeah, in the circle of power. Circle of power, dum dum. Okay, let's just make one for now because we don't have any trials at level 20 so basically you have to have trials at level 20 to to use this we can do it on our horse just for your for your for your for so just for the info this works on animals as well but let's just use it on Tugra what does he have basically only agility and life Let's just put one in use. And this change his perks. He got more life, he got minus strength. Not that good, but I think it's better than before. So so the most efficient way to do it this is to have the trials at level 20. Ah, we could have given it to this one, actually. But this is good. No, this is this is good. Okay, so that was level ten of the tome. We had le we learned the elixir of rebirth, and now level eleven. Tome spell page, demon blood, and now sacrificial blood. This is a bit tedious to get, but the same as the as the soul essence is the same crafted at the sacrificial stone. So let's just craft it. So call of Nergal and Abyssal call. Let's see what it requires. So Abyssal call is this one. Let's just put the human flesh here. Demon blood. Do I have demon blood here? No. Let me take some demon blood. So as you see it's pretty resource intensive to make the upgrades but some are pretty good. So Abyssal Call basically calls a demon. A creature of, a creature of Nergal. What? Okay, so this one has a percentage in growth. I don't, I don't actually know how much it will if if he stays. I believe he is for life. He's not like the horse. I may be wrong, but if it says it has growth chances, he might be for life. Pretty good, pretty cool. Not good, pretty cool, because as you see, he starts with 400 health. I believe it was much higher. 
in the in the age of sorcery. I don't know if they nerfed it. It looks pretty cool anyway. And now the the call of Nergal. Again, I don't know if this takes the 50% corruption or not. Let me just see. Summon and control moves. Escalate. Okay, so we need only only this, but we cannot summon him here inside this cave. We must be in the open area. So I will tell you right right from the start. This is a pretty good spell to have. Uh, almost, almost fell. Oh, come on. Not now. Can we summon it here? You can traverse... Traverse uh, big distances in a short while. And also, in PvP this is the most OP thing because it will uh, basically call a bat and it will let let you go on on the other person's base which in my opinion is very is very OP as you see it has a, a stamina bar Today we call it stamina. Yes, it's stamina. It's basically the stamina is. I can't remember from the top of my head if it is um, the the stamina is kept at 400. I believe in the previous iteration it was in in accordance with your stamina, but don't quote me on that. I use it sometimes if I want to, to to reach on the other side of some cliff or something like that. <laughs> Pretty nice. Also, there is a Conan Exiles Steam achievement to reach the skies above Exile Lands, lands. and with this bat you can do that. Just press space until it gets to the highest point, get the get the achievement, and I suggest you you do this over. Um, deep water because if you run out of uh, stamina the bat will disappear and you will fall from a great distance it happened once, once to me and uh, i just warn you <laughs> make sure you have water deep water under your feet so for the for the next one i think we need dragon horns if i'm not mistaken yes we need 20 dragon horns so in the next episode because we are the tomb is now at level 11 so we still have four levels remaining to do from from the tomb of Korak so what we also need for the next one we need 20 dragon bones 30 demon blood demon blood is is, is very easy level 13 will need 10 dragon powder which we have but as a warning is very expensive but now we get to the interesting part we need 20 black blood level 40 5 fragments of power and 30 black blood level 15 100 witch fire powder and 50 black blood so basically need 100 black blood 5 5 uh, fragments of power and 100 witch fire, fire powder, which we have 36. This this will not be as much problem. The only pro problem will be the um, dragon horns and the fragments of power, which again will not be that. We I will show you in the next episode. So I guess this will be for today. I hope this one doesn't get over 50 minutes. <laughs> anyway, I'll see. And uh, I will see you in the next episode for uh, for the leveling up of Tom of Korak to the max level and see what we get. 
thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye.